Hey, good afternoon from the Urban Ninja Project, where me and all my closest little buddies here, are we just hanging out? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. How much fun is this, guys? Good. Awesome. Well, a whole lot of fun, isn't it? And we're learning, too, and we're getting exercise and moving. Will is with us, and Will, I understand you're like the head coach here. Yeah. What are we learning here at the Urban Ninja Project? Well, we're learning body control. We're learning body mechanics and how to control ourselves through three-dimensional space, through obstacles, over obstacles, under obstacles. Uh, and right now what I'm going to demonstrate is a simple uh, Tarzan swing to a dismount. Uh, dismounting is really difficult because a lot of people want to wrap their legs. A lot of times everybody want to wrap their legs around the rope and that makes it hard to get off of the rope. So we got to learn how to use our arms. Watch out, I'm going to swing right over there. Uh, and then put our feet right there on that one spot without falling off. Do you guys think he can do it? Yeah! All right. So instead of just holding on, Instead of just holding on and letting go and swinging, I'm actually going to jump backwards to get a big swing. <gasps> oh! Wow! Oh, oh. And then I'm going to plant it. I'm going to come right back. So watch out, guys. Okay? Oh wow! Woo! That's cool. Yeah. Now listen, this cool is a lot. Time. This is a lot harder than it looks, Absolutely. and you make it look so simple. But body control. What are the kids learning through all of this? Well, they're learning about their limitations and limitations eventually when they get older turn into personal boundaries. If they learn how to respect their own limitations, then they learn how to enforce their own personal boundaries. And that's something that children, we have a hard time teaching children how to do. Right. You know, when it when it comes to like, you know, the objectification uh, and con commodification of children's bodies, this is a way to teach them that their body is their own, that their sense of self-control is their own, that the responsibility of its safety is their own. Now, there's so many different activities too. I Absolutely. understand this wall over here is hugely popular. Why? Well, it's such a it's such a challenge because you can see the pinnacle of it. You can see the ideal. Um, but, you know, it's really hard to attain and you think that, oh, I did a good job this time. Maybe if I try just a little bit harder, I'll do even better. Right. So the competition is really an internal one. You know, can I do better this time than the last time? I tried it. I didn't do any better the second or the third or the tenth time. Yeah, well, there's, a there's a critical limit. It's like eventually fatigue sets in, that's right. and that's another personal limit. That's when you got to identify, oh, enough is enough. Real quickly, you guys do birthday parties, yes, different we do birthday kinds? Parties. We do birthday parties. We do uh, just an open gym kind of party in which they get to come in and explore on their own. Uh, we have a guided one, which is the Urban Ninja Party, in which myself or another one of our chief instructors will teach you all the various skills related to obstacle course running, parkour skills, which is like free running, martial arts, if that's what you're into, even dance if you like. I love it. I love it. This is a fun place to be for not only the kids, but the adults as well. You can check it out. More info online. If you want to book a party, if you want to come be a Ninja Warrior yourself, Urban Ninja Warrior uh, Project. I'm Deanne Stevens, out and about. Back to you guys.